Okay, here we've got another Lenovo laptop. A uh, client of mine uh, does a lot of business traveling. They've been buying these for their uh, employees. This particular one is a ThinkPad Edge E431. I did another video about this, but I figured it won't hurt to do another one. So anyway, let's open this thing up. Um, we've had good results with these. The, the, this particular client likes them. He continues to buy uh, Lenovo's and he sends them to us to configure them for his employees. And then we ship them out to wherever that employee happens to be living at the time. So I'm gonna get this open and we'll get rolling here. Last one of these I opened up uh, had styrofoam inside of it. It looks like they've moved to the uh, compressed cardboard, which is a little more biodegradable. It's not gonna be here in four billion years. The laptop is in there nice, nicely, fairly well. I mean, it wasn't slopping around at all. Side pocket has got our battery. It's just the standard battery. It's not the extended battery on this one. Power cable. And the brick. And this one does have the rectangular end on it. Um, unlike the cheaper one of those that have the circular, I like the rectangular end. It tends to stay in the machine a little better. It doesn't pull out quite so easy and doesn't get worn as fast either. It's a little more stable. got a little slot up here that's holding the software CDs and the getting started stuff and I'm just gonna leave that in the box. So here is the brand new E431. Um, this is set up to run Windows 8. If I know this client he probably ordered it with Windows 7 Professional installed and we'll find that out soon enough. The battery on these is real simple. They just slide in and you can see there are two latches here. You slide in, this one's a release and this one's a lock. Uh, the machine comes with uh, two USB ports on this side. They're probably yeah, USB 2.0 ports on this side, HDMI and a VGA monitor port. Along the front, we've got an SD card slot right here. And a, uh, this one came with probably a DVD. It doesn't say on the outside, but a DVD, reader writer, another USB 2, and our power uh, plug here, and uh, Ethernet port. I'm sorry it's a little dark. My, uh, I'm working in a different location today, so I don't have quite the lighting I usually like to have. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind with these laptops is they're not using them on your lap isn't really advised. All these uh, venting down here get blocked by your pant legs and uh, or dress or whatever you're wearing that day and uh, it keeps the processor from cooling properly. So these shouldn't really be used as laptops. It's one of my pet peeves that people call them laptops because they're not really designed for use on your lap. They're designed to be mobile computers. Be a better name for them, but it's more of a mouthful. Anyway, that's it. That's the Lenovo. We'll pop her open. Uh, these have the more compact keyboard. They don't have the number pad on the side, but they do have the uh, full uh, Windows 8 compatible touchpad on these. So the touchpad has some of those features, the zoom in type features and stuff that you would normally find with the touch screen. You can perform those on the touchpad. Kind of a neat. So anyway, we'll boot it up and see for sure if we have Windows 7 or Windows 8 on. And it's a Windows 7 professional machine, so that's what I figured he would have sent me that. This also comes with a webcam on it if you're interested in that kind of thing. This is a good machine for low-end uh, kind of office work. It's not going to be for video gaming or video editing or photo editing, audio editing, that kind of stuff. It's going to require a little more horsepower than this has. This is an i3 processor. Um, it came with 4 gigs of RAM that he purchased it, but he also purchased a memory expansion, and I'll pop that in there in a second. Oh, there we go, Windows 7 Professional. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down at this point. Uh, it's not booted up and I'll finish the boot process later. Uh, getting to the memory in these is a little bit of a hassle. Uh, you've gotta take this whole entire panel off right here. There's, I think, four, one, two, three, 
four screws that hold this panel on. It's a really tight panel. You've actually got to wedge up quite a bit um, on this lift point. Take that back, three screws. This one is for the uh, side device there. And as you can see, just fingernails are not quite enough to pop that out of there easily. Squirse that gently with a screwdriver. And that pops right out. Again, there's just three screws, not four. One, two, three, that hold that in. That's pretty snug. You do have to apply a little pressure to pop that out. Uh, your memories down here, lower right hand side. The, the client picked up some crucial memory and shipped that to us as well. So what I'm going to do when I handle this memory is I'm going to make sure I maintain contact with this computer at all times on something metal. I want to be grounded when I'm playing with the memory and certain that you don't want to send a static shock to that. Static shock is enough to mess up your motherboard. So I'm just going to stay grounded. So what we have here is an additional eight gigabytes of memory. The machine I said before came with four gigabytes. Gigabytes, I was mistaken. It came with two gigabytes. So this is going to bump us up to uh, ten gigabytes in the system. Let's wiggle that in, nice and easy, until it seats. You don't want to see any of the gold along the bottom. And you push it down and these two clamps on the side just pop right in. Very easy. The cover goes back down. It, it, it's got, uh, so it's got feet along the bottom of the case here that hinge into the lower, into the side of the laptop. They don't cooperate very well when they're new. And just firmly press that down. And we'll go around and tighten up the screws. Uh, it's nice that the screws don't fall out of this cover. And there we have it, covers back on. And when we boot up here, we should have 10 gigs of RAM. So it looks like we may have a mismatch on that RAM. So I'm gonna pop this cover out and I'm gonna troubleshoot it just a little bit, make sure everything went right here. So in a case like this where I pop the new RAM in there, I know it's good, it's brand new, we should be fine. I'm going to make sure there's not some kind of compatibility problem with this specific RAM. I didn't order this, so I'm, I'm going by, uh, by what I received in the mail. So I'm just going to pop this one out, staying grounded the whole time. I'm going to pop the original one out. We've got a static bag here. I'll place this other RAM in that static bag. And I'm just gonna loosely put this back on. So I got it plugged in and we're gonna boot it and see what kind of result we get. So I hit F2 so I can get into the boot manager. Memory diag on this, make sure everything looks good. While it's doing that, I'll clean up a little bit, organize a bit. So memory test out fine. I really speeded up the video on that. It takes a lot longer than what you just saw. I'm gonna shut it down again and I'll pop that other stick back in. Every once in a while, I'll find something where I have an anomaly and uh, for whatever reason, the memory doesn't work the first time I pop it in there. Show you from a different angle this time, just cause it's easier for me. Uh, I'm going to pop that in. I'm going to maintain contact with the PC at all times. Make sure that I'm grounded. And you just wiggle that in until it seats. Carefully press it down. Memory's in place. Before I tighten those down, I'm going to boot this back up again and just make sure 100% that we're happy here because I don't want to have to take that whole thing apart again. And it looks like we're going to boot. I'm not going to go through the whole boot process right now, but it's up, it's running. 
just some kind of an anomaly. It didn't like the memory the first time I stuck it in there. It's not the first time I've ever run into that. It's rare though. So it always, you know, always makes sense to go back over, double check what you did, reseat the memory again, pop a stick out, pop a stick back in. Okay, this is the ThinkPad Lenovo Edge 431. Good lower end business laptop, uh, pretty tough. It's not the titanium case, it's not the metal case, but this is a pretty tough book. These guys are doing a lot of construction in our construction sites. They travel around, they do abuse these things, and we got a pretty lo long life out of them. So anyway, that's it for today. I uh, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe below and thanks.